I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, it went poorly. But I had grand visions. I had great plans for all of this, this, this fleshy medium that is my face. And I thought there's nothing that a fresh pack of ultra fine tipped sharpies can't solve. But uh, how wrong I would be, as you will shortly see. I first tested them out on my drawing by drawing across my finger, fingers my fists, and uh, everything was going according to plan, and everything was going well, and everything seemed promising, uh, but everything went downhill quickly. Previously, when I did this a long, long time ago, I used to have a video where I drew my face along I'm, I'm, I'm on my YouTube channel. It's not there anymore. I was I was looking in the mirror, and then I had the the camera, you know, pointed in the mirror and then bouncing onto my face. I, is that called bouncing? But this time, I was looking at a a video feed. Of, of myself instead and then I was like mirroring the video feed and I was staring at my own fleshy existence the face the human face is a weird thing is uh, is is everyone else's face this fleshy I don't know if you google eyelids and look up pictures of eyelids everyone else's eyelids the, the pictures you get are either heavily you know heavily covered in makeup or they all have strange and terrible growths. And so I don't know if everyone else's eyelids have all these terrible, um, creepy, uh, off-putting veins in them, or if I'm just, if I just have translucent, clear skin. I am very fair-skinned, I know that. Uh, but, um, it is a little weird to, to look at closely like this. I, first of all, I mean, first of all, I don't normally see my own face at all, because I'm usually looking out from it. Uh, but even when I do look at myself in the mirror, it's usually from a distance instead of up close like this. Anyways, it was hard to draw on myself, first of all, because I think usually when people do face painting and stuff like this, or even, well, doing this gave me a whole new respect for girls putting on makeup all the time, especially very delicate things like mascara, mascara, and eyeliner. Don't they draw? They, they draw on like the very edges of their eyelids without gouging out their own eyes. That, that's flabbergasting. Anyways, I kept on drawing even though I was slowly realizing that everything was going south fast. I thought that maybe I could rescue it just by keeping on going, but I quickly realized that I couldn't. And uh, it, you could see at one moment here, uh, have you seen that show Lie to Me? You know about those micro expressions? There's at one point this micro expression hits me right, right there. Go back and pause it. Right there, yeah. That. Look at all that. That's like what is that regret? Dink, 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 dink. That's some regret right there. It just washes over my face for a split second, and uh, but I keep going. I don't stop. I just <laughs> I, I I absorb the regret and then I let it fuel me and I just keep drawing. And uh, just, I just keep drawing these weird, wobbly, permanent mar marker lines all over my face. And um, I, I, I don't know what I was, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> this video is from a while ago, okay? Uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's because my, my hair was maybe like an inch shorter. Um, I mean, I'm, you could be watching this video in like two years. Who knows what my hair will look like in like two years. You could be watching this in a thousand years. I don't know. But anyways, I don't know what I was doing. I, I, had a, I really did have these amazing plants. I'm like, I'm going to draw this amazing, detailed. Uh, but, but then when it really came down to it, I, nothing, my, I couldn't get my hand to move like I wanted it to. Uh, I don't know if it was something to do with like the, the infinitesimal delay of looking in the, the camera feed or the way it was mirrored. I tried mirroring it, unmirroring it. All these little tweaks I tried doing it to make it feel more natural, and it just wasn't working. And everything is just looking so hilariously bad. And uh, for some reason, I just couldn't stop. I just I thought maybe if I just kept going, it would somehow, like, kind of you know go all the way around from looking gradually worse and worse and worse to suddenly good again. And it just never happened. It never, it never started looking good again. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> it, I, it just, eventually, I, eventually, I, I don't know what happened if my pens stopped working or if I just, uh, I finally came to my senses. I just stopped draw, drawing on my own face. I don't know how I did it last time. I feel like last time I was in high school. Uh, this was probably last time I did it was like nine years ago. And I, I actually published a video where I was proud of what I had drawn on my face instead of a, a quote unquote fail video. But, um, yes, who knows? Life is, life is strange and art is no exception. So, uh, but just because things can go south sometimes like art like this doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Sometimes you learn the most from your failures. There's some quote on the bottom of my website that says, uh, for you, the seed for your next artwork lies embedded in the perfections of your current piece. That's from a book called Art and Fear. I'd recommend that to anyone. It's just a good book about the, the trials of art making, trials and troubles. Anyways, uh, obviously, so just, just, just make art. Don't worry about every, every piece being incredible because it'll be fun anyways. Like I had a blast making this, even though I was obviously miserable, uh, for half of it. Um, but I, looking back, it was hilarious. Um, anyways, goodbye, everybody. Uh, I love you. Bye. Even if you don't love me, because I, I, my face looks bad.